Do you remember the days of the Akron Beacon Journal, Broussard? Were you the man there? I, I do remember, Colin. I started out as a half writer, half editor. So I would sit there and I actually edited stories, put titles on stories and all that stuff. Whoa. In addition to writing. All but right. That's let- where I got my big break, started covering Went from high school to the pros. Oh, a little, little uh, resume. Talk about uh, Chris Broussard's career. Speaking of careers, Ben Simmons, story out today that the Sixers, and we sort of suspected this, Chris, are engaging teams in talks. I don't love the idea that Daryl Morey says, I want an all-star in return. That's what the story states. What I think they need is somebody who's a star in their role. I'll throw this at you. If you gave me the number seven pick in Andrew Wiggins from the Warriors, You would get another shooter. It's a very strong draft. At the seven pick, you're probably getting a starter or a first guy off a bench. Would you, is that something that would interest you? Well, here's the thing. If I'm Golden State and I look, he's was part of the dynasty, right? But I'm giving up Draymond Green. And the question is, would Philly, because Philly won him. I think he fills some needs for Philly. One, they need leadership among the players, right, yeah. in the locker room. Draymond's a leader. We know how volatile he is and everything. But he was an inspirational or is an inspirational leader in that Golden State locker room. I think he could get the best out of Joel Embiid, and he's a great defender. So you don't lose a ton there. In Golden State, I don't need Draymond if I have been. In fact, I want Ben to be the new Draymond. Ben is a young Draymond, you know, and he can he's the playmaker, so Steph can still run off the ball and all that. He's a great defender. The only thing Ben lacks that Draymond has is that Draymond will take the occasional three. Yeah. All right, just to keep the defense honest, ben, he might not hit it, but he'll take it, and Ben's got to just take him. But I don't think that's enough to get it done for Philly. So then you talk about, do I have to throw in Wiggins? Uh, now you got to get somebody back from Philly to make it work. I don't think Philly would do it, but I'd love to get Seth Curry. Uh, <laughs> give me Seth and, and Ben for Draymond and Wiggins and the number seven pick. Uh, now we might be talking, but I, the bottom line is I like what you're thinking about Ben Simmons to Golden State yeah, because I do think he'd be a great fit, but I just think you got to give up Draymond because you don't need Draymond if I've been. Well, and I also think the Warriors will take a big swing. We, we know this. They have taken big swings before. I think they need to do it again, and I think Philadelphia needs to take a big swing. And Daryl Mo- Yeah, and Daryl Morey has a history of that. So when you get Bob Myers and Daryl Morey, sharp guys, they take big swings. That's how this stuff happens. I think we could have a lot of players move in this Ben Simmons deal, and I can't wait for it. Okay, everybody's freaking out. It's an exhibition. We lose to Nigeria, and we lose to Australia. Could I use this excuse? Off the bubble and off the condensed season, you got a bunch of – a lot of the stars didn't want to play in this. The ones that are playing in it, Dame and Bradley Beal and Jason Tatum and there's trade talks and – it's kind of a distracted basketball team that I'm not sure if they have a go-to leader. Is that a reasonable excuse? Now, look, 24 hours ago, I was where you were at. Ah, no big deal, please. This is nothing to worry about. But now, look, we know, Colin, they went out for last night's game. Like, look. We're going to prove that, that that loss to Nigeria, who we beat a few years ago by 80-something, was a fluke. All right, we're going to set the basketball world back in order and run through Australia. And they lost. All right, so a week ago, I thought it was a guarantee that America's going to win the gold medal. Now, I think they still can win it. But it's far from a guarantee. So I'm concerned. I think the roster construction was poor. Yeah. There's no rim protector or big man, right, on the roster. And and you might think, well, you don't need that in international play. Last night, Australia lived at the rim. Yeah. Backdoor cuts, dives, all that stuff, and they scored 44 points in the paint. And then look at the roster, Colin. Other than Draymond Green, there's not a natural playmaker on the team. Sure, Dame can pass. Sure, KD can pass. But they're score-first guys. So is Beal. So is Jason Tatum. 
And now you say, okay, who's kind of getting everybody involved? The reason it worked in Brooklyn is because James Harden is a natural playmaker and could get guys involved. Who's doing that on this team? So I've got some concerns. Yeah, no, I think your initial point, it's, and we've seen this before, it's a poorly constructed team now. I will defend USA basketball. A lot of the stars didn't want to play. Like, I get it. Like, you, 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 at bottom line, if Bradley Beal and Dame are available, you get them. You just figure it out. But it, it's, not a, right. it's not a greatly designed roster. Okay, Buck Suns play tomorrow night. They're stretching this puppy out. I still like the Suns. I have them in six. But I will say this. The Suns are younger, slimmer, more athletic. Uh, it's a finesse team. They like a fast tempo. The Bucks are bigger, stronger. You look at the weights of the Bucks. And Milwaukee got home and made this a more physical series. And Chris, you start watching this now, and it looks like to me, whoever's going to win these remaining games is going to be able to force their style of play on the other team. And a lot of that's coaching. Um, But I do think Milwaukee's got a life here because I think they're physically, they're bigger. I mean, outside of Jay Crowder, who's a big guy on Phoenix? The roster's a bunch, it's young. and and I do think Milwaukee no. Milwaukee has seen some things they can do here, and I think they're going to win another game or two in this series. Your thoughts? No, nah, look, I'm with you. I've got Milwaukee in game four, so now it's 2-2, and we got drama, and we're excited. Oh, a lot of people will be saying the Bucs are going to win at that point. But I'm with you. I've got Phoenix in six, so I think they would take the next two games. But, yes, look, a lot of people have been saying this throughout the postseason. Bucks. Play to your strength. They are a big team. You mentioned Giannis, but Brooke Lopez is a seven-footer. So they can really beat people up inside. And that's what Giannis did in game three, largely did that in game two. I don't need Giannis right now taking threes and 18-footers, and I don't need him bringing the ball up the court in the half-court set and revving up to drive. I want him in the paint through dives, through pick and roll, through cuts and, and, and in transition with the Euro step off putbacks. If he stays to that, then he really dominates the game inside. Yep. And that opens up the perimeter for Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. So I'm with you. Milwaukee does have a formula. Look, Giannis has scored f- more than 40 points, Colin, in three of the five games <laughs> this year against Phoenix. Right. They don't have an answer. DeAndre Ayton actually guards him well. But what happens is he gets Aiton in foul trouble. Yeah. And so they don't want to put Aiton on him the whole game because he'll be in foul trouble. So, yeah, they've got some problems for, for Phoenix. But conversely, Phoenix's pick and roll gives Milwaukee some problems too. Yeah. So, it, 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 like you said, which team can impose its will on the other will probably win the series. Good stuff, Chris Broussard. Good talking to you, bud. Great as always. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.